Now, here's sports director Gary Dearborn with Channel 2 Sports. Well, if you're a Wolfpack football fan, you've noticed a couple things in the 2015 schedule. First, UNLV has been pushed back to an early October date. And second, there's no Boise State on the regular season slate. Not having the Broncos was a topic of conversation for Dallas Kolodny as he caught up with both teams this morning in Las Vegas. For the first time in 15 years, the Nevada Wolfpack and the Boise State Broncos are not scheduled to play each other in a football season. That last time, the year 2000, when Nevada moved from the Big West to the WAC and Boise State was still in the Big West. We caught up with both teams here at Mountain West Media Days and got their reaction to not playing each other this upcoming season. Yeah, that's definitely a downer. I actually uh, tweeted out when the schedule came out that I, how disappointed I was in that. Um, those guys are a rival as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Those are that was one of the teams that we always look forward to playing throughout the season. They always give us good games. Uh, very disappointed. You know, you know, you always want it. You want it as a competitor. You know, you want to see those teams on your schedule uh, to take the boys' game from us. You know, it is what it is. We look at it as a rival, um, but it's, it's out of our control. Nevada is always a fun game. It's always competitive. Uh, I know our players, I know their players are really excited to play in that game. However, there still is a chance Nevada and Boise State will meet in the 2015 season. If both teams win their division, they'll play in the conference championship game in December. That's exactly what we want. You know, we're hoping that, you know, come December, it's, uh, Nevada and, the Boise, and Boise State, that's what we're hoping. I haven't thought of that, but when that, when that comes, then it'll be a little bit more special where it's like you already had the rivalry going, and then on top of that, now it's like for all the marbles. <laughs> I mean, if everything works out as planned, I, I would like to see a uh, first week in December on the blue turf. Um, they're a quality program. It's a great rivalry. It's a lot of fun. Hopefully we play them in December. So that wraps up the Mountain West Conference Football Media Days for 2015, but not our coverage. Still a couple of stories to get to this week, including Commissioner Craig Thompson's State of the Conference speech. But for now, from Las Vegas, Dallas Kolodny, Channel 2 Sports. Speaking of Wolfpack football, junior defensive end Ian Seau has been named to the Polynesian Player of the Year watch list, an award given to the most outstanding Polynesian college football player in the country. Seau is coming off the ninth best sack season in pack history with eight and a half his sophomore campaign. He also tallied 39 tackles.